Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's video has absolutely no educational content whatsoever. This is just here for your entertainment. This is the top 20 home inspection photos for 2018. Enjoy. So for photo number one, we've got magic guardrails. What makes these guardrails so magical? That's the fact that there's no newel posts. Now, I'll admit, this was not a home we inspected. This was just a drive-by. We happened to drive by it, saw this, and we went, wait a minute, what's going on here? And we had to take a picture. I think that was Joe who took that. Well done, Joe. For photo number two, we've got who needs kickout flashing. And I love this photo because, the, well, there's no kickout flashing at that upper gutter and water ends up leaking behind it. It runs down the siding. And so to deal with it, they just simply added another gutter. They, they've got a gutter for the gutter. I, I absolutely love this. This is, this is precious. Next, we've got, are these overnotched? You don't need any explanation here, do you? I mean, this is just nasty, right? Thank you to Derek Burchill with Electric City for taking this photo. It's fantastic. And here's another one, courtesy of Derek Burchill with Electric City. I never got the story on this, and I don't feel like I really need the story. It's, it's all right there. Somebody jammed scissors into the circuit breaker. Wonderful. Would you walk on this balcony? We chose not to. All right, so for the caption on this one, I'm get, George gets credit for this, and his caption was, you can always recognize little Timmy by the unique scar on his forehead. Now I like to call this one Little Timmy's Revenge. This one is actually courtesy of Ray Reps of Ray's Independence Auto Repair. I, I don't know the story on this. Again, don't really need it, but it just looks super painful. Somebody, that, that is going to be a painful door to hit your head on. Someone's gonna get stitches because of this. I'm sure of it. All right, fine. We will not inspect the sump basket as we slowly back away. New air freshener scent, Tahitian polyvinyl chloride. Again, that's how we found it. It was behind the couch and it was stinky. All right, for this, I'm not gonna make any sound effects, but the, the caption was, get out, the drapes are on fire. I don't know, what do you think about the toilet? It, uh, it fits, you, you gotta buy special toilet sizes if the setback is gonna be this close to the wall, or do you? All you really need to fix this is a saw, and that's what they did, they fixed it. Okay, I love this electrical service. That's what you're seeing in the photo. This is the full electrical service. I think this was on a condo, but that's all they had for the entire unit. We had two 15 amp fuses. It was, it's, it's considered a 30 amp service. That was it, whole thing, right there. Smallest service we have ever seen. All right, this next one is just good government humor. I don't know what else to say. And I didn't get the photo. Dustin on our team took this photo and shared it with us, and we all kind of scratched our heads and went, huh, I don't get it. Well, apparently if you're a cable installer or somebody who does that kind of work, those, those green boxes you see on the side of the road, those are known as PEDs. It's short for a pedestal. And somebody knew about that, and they put the sign right there next to it saying, watch for PEDs. And this is just, this is maybe the greatest photo we've ever taken. It's not even home inspection related, but it's still wonderful. We love this. Missed it by that much. There's the dam for an attic access panel, and there is no attic access panel there. It's over one bay. Don't know how it got to that point, but there it is. This is what 17 tubes of caulking will get you. This is not how you repair a chimney. Uh, another term for this would be called tuck caulking. That's one that we made up. It's where you use caulking in place of tuck pointing. So that's uh, it's not how you fix a chimney, but that's how someone chose to fix it. Painted grout lines. This is, when we saw this chimney from the street, it actually looked okay, but then you get up close and you realize this is all mortar that's been smeared all over the chimney and they painted it to look like grout lines in between. So that, uh, you, you fooled us for a second there. Flex seal to the rescue. This photo is courtesy of Virginia Home Inspector Bronson Anderson. 
someone went absolutely nuts with the flex seal. I'm assuming they couldn't get this to stop leaking and they just covered the whole darn thing with it. This is that stuff you see on infomercials, you know, where they like, they, they cover screen doors and make boats out of them and stuff. Love it. Here's a frost covered attic. This is the reason that I don't like whole house humidifiers. It's exactly this type of thing. This is what we find in homes where people just crank up their humidifiers and they, they try to make their houses comfortable. Now for this one, I've just, I've got no comment. That's how we found it. I, I have nothing to say. This was one heck of a calling card. Somebody, some insulation contractor left this behind in the attic. I'm assuming they leave this little monument behind in every attic where they apply their spray foam insulation. And I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. I, I know some people thought this was rather unprofessional. There was comments on our Facebook page about that. But I, I enjoyed it. I, I thought that was very cute. This next photo is Legos holding up kitchen shelving. And the comment there would be, this is the most expensive way to hold up your shelves. Now, if you don't have kids and you haven't purchased Legos in a long time, then you don't get the joke. But if you have, well, you get it. And, you know, that makes 20. That is our list of 20 photos. If you enjoy these, please subscribe to our Facebook page or like it or uh, however that's done. We post photos like this every day on our Facebook page, and we love sharing them. Thank you.